create a custom frame for a rider on BikeCat Pro, there are a number of approaches you can take. One is to pull up the display dialog box and enable the stick figure representation of the rider. You can use the rider anatomy dialog box to control a comprehensive array of dimension related to that stick figure. You can control things like the lower leg length, the upper leg length, and so on. Now, Taking this approach can be fairly time consuming, so some prefer to use the Fit Advisor. The Fit Advisor allows us to take six basic body dimensions of the rider rather than the 16 required by the Rider Anatomy dialog box. You can customize the Fit Advisor to include as many fit schemes as you want. Here in this example we have a fit scheme for cyclocross, mountain bike, road, time trial. You can come up with your own fit schemes and you can make the categories as narrow as you like. You can also customize the measuring scheme that we see here. Instead of this dimensioning scheme, you could use this scheme, or this scheme, or not even base it off body dimensions at all. You could base it off of the readings from a size cycle. But I'll cover that later when I talk about customizing the Fit Advisor. But let's just use the defaults for now, and note that in these fields here we have all the measurements that we've taken from the rider. We can take those measurements in either inches or millimeters. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to make the rider really tall, 7 feet 9 inches in fact. And as for the other dimensions, the height of the sternal notch, the inseam, the arm length, etc., I'm actually just going to disable those measurements, allowing BikeCAD to approximate the values for me. This isn't going to result in the best fit, but it will speed up this demonstration. I'm going to hit the Calculate button now, and BikeCAD will recommend various values for crank length, saddle height, seat tube length, rider compartment, etc. So one by one, I can go through this list, read the recommended value, which is calculated by a formula shown here. That formula can be customized. I can show you that later. And with each value, we either apply it to the BikeCAD model or just skip over it and go to the next dimension. Some of these dimensions we can apply at any point, such as the crank length, and I'll go ahead and do that now. For this giant 7 foot 9 inch rider, BikeCAD is recommending a giant pair of cranks. So we'll apply those giant cranks now, as you can see. The saddle height, BikeCAD recommends a saddle height of 960 millimeters, so we'll apply that to BikeCAD. Now, the representation of the rider that we have on the bike right now is not set to represent a 7 foot 9 inch rider. In order to do that, we'll have to go to the Rider Anatomy tab and apply those settings to BikeCAD. So now we have a very large rider sitting on a fairly small bike with the seat jacked right up. We can carry on and go to Seat Tube Length, apply that to BikeCAD. Rider compartment. Note that the rider compartment dimension is one that we need to be careful to apply in the correct order. You should ensure that the saddle height has already been established before you apply the rider compartment because the rider compartment dimension is based off of the position of the saddle. But we'll apply that to BikeCAD and the handlebar drop is another value that we have to apply in the correct order because handlebar drop like rider compartment is also based on the position of the saddle. So anyway, will apply the handlebar drop. Now in doing so, we've basically come up with a good fit for this 7 foot 9 inch rider. Another note about handlebar drop is that handlebar drop is a very personal dimension that a lot of riders are going to have differing preferences for. In consideration of this fact, you might consider setting up more narrowly defined fit schemes such as not just a road fit scheme but say an elite road fit scheme or a recreational road fit scheme because all of these riders are going to likely have differing preferences for handlebar drop and other values. That's just a basic demonstration of the fit advisor and creating a custom frame for a rider on BikeCAD Pro.